Welcome to the 2024 New Jersey DMV written test. This test has 60 questions with explained answers to help you prepare for this test. Before we get started, don't forget to jumpstart that like button to keep this channel running. Now here is your DMV instructor to walk you through the questions. Question one. In what situation should you not point your wheels straight ahead? A. When parked on a hill or sloping driveway. B. When you're in a parade. C. When parked at home. D. When you're racing other cars. The correct answer is A. When parked on a hill or sloping driveway. When parked on a hill or sloping driveway, it's a good idea to turn your wheels so that if your vehicle starts rolling, it will hit the curb or go off the road rather than moving into traffic. This helps prevent accidents and keeps your car and others safe. Question two, in fog, rain, or snow, which kind of car lights should you use? A, fog lights only. B, high beams. C, low beams. D, no lights. The correct answer is C, low beams. When it's foggy, rainy, or snowy, it's essential to use low beams to make sure you can see the road clearly without blinding other drivers with bright lights. Low beams provide a safe way to drive in these weather conditions. Question three, when you spot this sign, what should you do? A, speed up. B, are approaching a railroad crossing and should prepare to stop. C, stop at any time. D, start a race. The correct answer is B, are approaching a railroad crossing and should prepare to stop. When you see this sign, it means you are nearing a railroad crossing. You should prepare to stop and check for oncoming trains to ensure your safety. Question four. If a big truck or bus is turning right and you want to turn right too, what should you do? A, honk your horn and go first. B, speed up and pass the truck or bus. C, close your eyes and turn quickly. D, wait until the truck or bus turns before you turn. The correct answer is D, wait until the truck or bus turns before you turn. When a big truck or bus is making a right turn, it's a good idea to be patient and let them turn first. This helps keep everyone safe on the road. Question five, when do you need to ensure there is an increased distance between your vehicle and the one ahead of you? A, only in heavy traffic. B, in adverse weather conditions. C, when driving at night. D, always, to maintain safe following distance. The correct answer is D, always, to maintain safe following distance. If a car is driving too close behind you, tailgating, it's a good idea to create more space in front of your vehicle to stay safe. This gives you extra time to react if something unexpected happens on the road. Question six. What should you do when driving on snowy or icy roads? A, drive super fast. B, drive like it's a sunny day. C, do lots of sharp turns. D, make speed and directional changes more gradually than you would otherwise. The correct answer is D, make speed and directional changes more gradually than you would otherwise. When you're driving on snowy or icy roads, it's important to be extra careful. Making changes to your speed and direction slowly helps you stay in control of your car and avoid accidents. Question seven. What does a broken yellow line in the middle of the road mean? A. Passing on the left is permitted when the way ahead is clear. B. Passing is not permitted. C. Overtaking permitted. D. One-way traffic. The correct answer is A. Passing on the left is permitted when the way ahead is clear. A broken yellow center line means you can pass other vehicles on the left side as long as it's safe and there are no oncoming cars. It's like a signal that you can go around slower traffic when it's safe to do so. Question eight. Which of these things is a good idea when you want to change lanes? A, don't look, just switch lanes quickly. B, don't check your mirrors. C, look over your right shoulder for a right lane change and your left shoulder for a left lane change. D, do not check for blind spots. The correct answer is C, look over your right shoulder for a right lane change 
and your left shoulder for a left lane change. When you want to change lanes, it's important to check your blind spots by looking over your shoulder in the direction you want to go. This helps you make sure there are no other cars there, keeping you and others safe. Question 9. What should you do if a car is driving very closely behind you? A. Wave at the driver to stop. B. Speed up to get away. C. Merging into another lane. D. Slam on your brakes. The correct answer is C. Merging into another lane. If a car is following too closely, tailgating, it's a good idea to safely change lanes and let them pass. This can help prevent accidents by creating more space between your car and the one behind you. Question 10. What should you do if a traffic light is red, but a police officer tells you to keep going through the intersection without stopping? A. Go through the intersection without stopping. B. Speed up and drive really fast. C. Stop and argue with the police officer. D. Turn off your car and walk away. The correct answer is A. Go through the intersection without stopping. When a police officer tells you to go through a red light, it's important to follow their instructions for safety. They are helping you navigate the intersection without any issues. Question 11. What can change how alcohol affects a person's body? A. Their intelligence. B. Their weight. C. Their height. D. Their judgment. The correct answer is B. Their weight. The amount of alcohol someone can handle can be influenced by their weight. Generally, a person who weighs more may be able to absorb more alcohol without becoming impaired compared to someone who weighs less. Question 12. What information does this white sign with a picture convey? A. Pass traffic in the right lane. B. Immediately pull over. C. You should slow down and move to the right lane. D. Stay in the right lane if you are driving more slowly than other traffic. The correct answer is D. Stay in the right lane if you are driving more slowly than other traffic. This sign is telling you to drive in the right lane if you're going slower than the other cars. It helps keep traffic moving smoothly and safely. Question 13. What does it mean when you see a red and orange triangle on a vehicle? A. The vehicle is an oversized load. B. The vehicle is carrying flammable materials. C. The vehicle is carrying hazardous materials. D. Slow-moving vehicle. The correct answer is D. Slow-moving vehicle. Whenever you spot a red and orange triangle on a vehicle, it tells you that the vehicle is moving slowly, so be patient and drive carefully around it. This helps everyone stay safe on the road. Question 14. What can happen when you're very, very tired while driving? A. Missing an exit. B. Falling asleep behind the wheel and crashing. C. Being late for an appointment. D. You will drive perfectly. The correct answer is B. Falling asleep behind the wheel and crashing. Being very tired while driving can make you fall asleep, which is dangerous and can lead to a car crash. It's important to stay awake and alert when you're behind the wheel to keep yourself and others safe. Question 15. What does this sign tell you to do? A. Let cross traffic pass before proceeding. B. Speed up to merge with oncoming traffic. C. Ignore oncoming traffic and continue driving. D. Yield to pedestrians before crossing. The correct answer is A. Let cross traffic pass before proceeding. When you see this sign, it's a reminder to be patient and allow the cars from the other road to go first before you continue driving. This keeps everyone safe at the intersection. Question 16. What can make cars on the road move very slowly? A. Heavy pedestrian traffic on the sidewalks. B. Drivers increasing their speed due to clear roads. C. Slowing down to look at a collision scene. D. Changes in speed limits. The correct answer is C. Slowing down to look at a collision scene. When drivers slow down to look at a car crash, it can create traffic jams and block the smooth flow of traffic. 
it's important to keep moving and not cause more problems on the road. Question 17. What should you do when you want to turn right at the next intersection? A. Signal for 100 feet before turning. B. Switch lanes quickly before making the turn. C. Speed up and honk your horn. D. Turn without signaling. The correct answer is A. Signal for 100 feet before turning. When you want to make a right turn, it's important to slow down and let other drivers know your intentions by using your turn signal for at least 100 feet before turning. This helps everyone stay safe and understand your driving actions. Question 18. What should you do when you see roadwork signs? A. Increase your speed to avoid delays. B. Reduce your speed and be prepared to stop suddenly. C. Proceed at the same speed as normal. D. Ignore the roadwork signs. The correct answer is B. Reduce your speed and be prepared to stop suddenly. When you drive through a work zone, you should slow down and be ready to stop if needed. This keeps you, the workers, and other drivers safe while construction is happening on the road. Question 19. What should you do when you're driving in reverse? A. Use the rearview mirror only to navigate. B. Speed up to get out of the way quickly. C. Look through the rear window. D. Keep the music volume high for better concentration. The correct answer is C. Look through the rear window. When you're backing up, it's important to look through the rear window to see where you're going and make sure it's safe. This helps you avoid hitting anything or anyone behind your car. Question 20. You're driving to an intersection and the signal suddenly turns yellow. What do you do? A. Speed up to go through the light. B. Stop your car immediately. C. Ignore the signal and continue as normal. D. Stop before entering the intersection if you can do so safely. The correct answer is D. Stop before entering the intersection if you can do so safely. When the traffic light turns yellow, you should try to stop your car before reaching the intersection if you can do it safely. If you can't stop safely, it's okay to go through the intersection, but be very careful. Question 21. When can someone ride in the back of a pickup truck and follow the rules? A. Never. B. Only on weekends. C. While standing up. D. In a secured seat and while using an approved safety belt. The correct answer is D. In a secured seat and while using an approved safety belt. It's important for someone to be in a secured seat and use a safety belt if they want to ride in the back of a pickup truck safely and legally. This helps protect them in case the truck stops suddenly or gets into an accident. Question 22. What is something important to know about taking drugs and driving? A. Taking drugs can improve your driving skills. B. Drugs have no effect on driving ability. C. Even over-the-counter drugs can impair your driving. D. You don't need to worry about drugs and driving. The correct answer is C. Even over-the-counter drugs can impair your driving. It's essential to understand that even some over-the-counter medicines can make you a less safe driver, so you should be cautious when taking any kind of drugs before driving. Always read the labels and talk to a doctor if you're unsure about how a drug might affect your ability to drive safely. Question 23. When you're driving behind a motorcycle, what's a good thing to do? A. Honk your horn to warn them. B. Allow a larger following distance. C. Drive really close to the motorcycle. D. Change lanes suddenly. The correct answer is B. Allow a larger following distance. It's a good idea to give motorcycles more space by allowing a larger following distance. This helps you react safely if they need to stop quickly or if there's an emergency. Question 24. What's a good thing to do when you're driving on a dark street at night? A. Drive slowly enough that you can stop within the area illuminated by your headlights. B. Turn off your headlights. C. Drive with your eyes closed. D. Drive as fast as possible. The correct answer is 
A. Drive slowly enough that you can stop within the area illuminated by your headlights. When you're on a poorly lit street at night, it's important to drive at a speed where you can stop in the area that your headlights light up. This helps you see and react to anything that might be in the road ahead. Question 25. What does this sign tell you about what's coming up on the road? A. Construction workers near. B. School ahead. C. School crossing. D. Pedestrian crossing ahead. The correct answer is D. Pedestrian crossing ahead. When you see this sign, it means there is a place where people might be crossing the road on foot. Be extra careful and watch out for pedestrians in that area. Question 26. You're driving toward a green light, but the road ahead is full of cars. What should you do? A. Race into the intersection. B. Don't enter the intersection until you can get completely across. C. Wait in the middle of the intersection. D. Close your eyes and keep going. The correct answer is B. Don't enter the intersection until you can get completely across. When traffic is blocking the intersection, it's best to wait at the green light until you can drive all the way through the intersection. This helps keep the intersection clear for other drivers and prevents traffic jams. Question 27. What should you do when another vehicle is passing your car? A. Maintain a constant speed. B. Honk your horn loudly. C. Change lanes without looking. D. Slow down as much as possible. The correct answer is A. Maintain a constant speed. When another vehicle is passing you, it's a good idea to keep your speed steady. This helps the other driver pass you safely and reduces the chances of a traffic problem. Question 28. You're driving in the left lane and cars are passing you on the right. What should you do if the driver behind you wants to go faster? A. Stop your car. B. Close your eyes and keep driving. C. Move into the right lane when it is safe. D. Speed up and race with them. The correct answer is C. Move into the right lane when it is safe. If the driver behind you wants to go faster, it's a good idea to change lanes to the right when it's safe to do so. This allows them to pass you safely and keeps the traffic flowing smoothly. Question 29. What should you do when you see this sign? A. Dance in the street. B. Close your eyes and keep driving. C. Yield the right of way. D. Speed up and race with others. The correct answer is C. Yield the right of way. When you come across this sign, it's telling you to let other drivers go first before you. It's a way to keep traffic safe and organized. Question 30. What do the yellow lines in the middle of the road mean? A. Traffic moving in opposite directions on two-way roads. B. It's a bike lane. C. Traffic moving in the same direction on one-way roads. D. It's a place to park. The correct answer is A. Traffic moving in opposite directions on two-way roads. When you see yellow lines on the road, it means that traffic on one side is going one way and traffic on the other side is going the opposite way. These lines help keep cars safe and prevent accidents. Question 31. In what order do traffic lights show their colors from the top to the bottom? A. Blue, yellow, red. B. Red, yellow, green. C. Purple, green, orange. D. Pink, brown, gray. The correct answer is B. Red, yellow, green. The correct order for traffic lights from the top to the bottom is red at the top, then yellow in the middle, and green at the bottom. Drivers should know what each color means to follow the rules of the road safely. Question 32. What does this sign show you? A. Ice cream ahead. B. Follow the car in front. C. Park your car here. D. Side road. The correct answer is D. Side road. This sign tells you that there is a side road coming up. It's important to be aware of this when you're driving so you can watch for cars entering or exiting that road. Question 33. You're driving, and the car in front of you stops at a crosswalk. What's the best thing for you to do? A. Honk your horn. B. Stop, proceeding only when all the pedestrians have crossed. 
C. Pass the stopped car quickly. D. Drive around the stopped car. The correct answer is B. Stop, proceeding only when all the pedestrians have crossed. When the car in front of you stops at a crosswalk, it's a sign that pedestrians might be crossing. You should also stop and wait until all the people on foot have safely crossed the road before you continue driving. Question 34. What's the wrong thing to do if a car is about to bump you from behind? A. Scream loudly. B. Close your eyes. C. Hold on to the steering wheel tightly. D. Release your seatbelt. The correct answer is D. Release your seatbelt. If you're about to be hit from the rear, you should not release your seatbelt. Your seatbelt keeps you secure and safe, even in a collision. Question 35. When do drivers have to wear their seatbelts? A. Only when carrying passengers. B. Only when driving at night. C. At all times. D. Only when driving on highways. The correct answer is C. At all times. Drivers must always wear their seatbelts while driving, and not doing so can result in receiving a traffic ticket. Seatbelts help keep everyone safe on the road. Question 36. When you park your car on a hill facing upward, what should you do besides using the parking brake? A. Blow a whistle loudly. B. Leave the car in neutral. C. Turn the front wheels away from the curb. D. Turn the front wheels toward the curb. The correct answer is C. Turn the front wheels away from the curb. When you park on a hill facing upward, it's a good idea to turn the front wheels away from the curb. This way, if your car starts to roll, it will move away from the road instead of into it, helping to keep everyone safe. Question 37. What does the broken yellow line next to a solid yellow line mean? A. Passing is permitted from the lane next to the broken yellow line. B. You can only drive backward. C. No passing is allowed. D. It's a special parking zone. The correct answer is A. Passing is permitted from the lane next to the broken yellow line. When you see a broken yellow line beside a solid yellow line, it means you can pass other cars from the lane next to the broken yellow line. Be sure it's safe to do so and follow the rules of the road. Question 38. You've been waiting for a while with your blinker on to get back into traffic, but it's really busy. What should you do now? A. Drive out quickly and honk your horn. B. Close your eyes and go. C. Continue waiting and yielding to traffic in the lane. D. Give up and stay where you are. The correct answer is C. Continue waiting and yielding to traffic in the lane. If traffic is heavy and you've been waiting to re-enter the traffic flow, it's best to be patient and keep waiting while letting other cars pass. Eventually, you'll find a safe opportunity to merge back into the traffic lane. Question 39. What does this sign tell you about the road ahead? A. Time to race with bicycles. B. Bicycle crossing. C. Ice cream ahead. D. Time for a parade. The correct answer is B. Bicycle crossing. This road sign means that there might be a place where bicycles could be crossing the road. Be extra careful and watch for bicyclists to keep everyone safe. Question 40. When should you listen to what a school crossing guard says? A. Only on weekends. B. When you're in a hurry. C. Never. D. At all times. The correct answer is D. At all times. School crossing guards help kids safely cross the road, so it's important to follow their instructions at all times to keep everyone safe. Question 41. When are the roads the slipperiest? A. On sunny days. B. During a snowstorm. C. After a car wash. D. During the first rain after a dry spell. The correct answer is D. During the first rain after a dry spell. Roads are most slippery when it starts raining after a dry period because the rain mixes with the accumulated oil and dirt on the road, making it extra slick. Be cautious and drive carefully in these conditions to avoid accidents. Question 42. 
When should you listen to what a signal person says at a road construction site? A. Only on weekends. B. When you're in a hurry. C. At all times. D. Never. The correct answer is C. At all times. You should always follow the instructions of the signal person at a road construction site to keep everyone safe and ensure the construction work goes smoothly. Question 43. What should you do if a person is walking across the road and there's no special place for them to cross? A. Honk your horn and keep going. B. Stop and let the pedestrian finish crossing. C. Close your eyes and keep driving. D. Drive around them quickly. The correct answer is B. Stop and let the pedestrian finish crossing. If you see a pedestrian crossing the road without a crosswalk, it's important to stop and wait for them to safely reach the other side. This helps keep them safe and follows the rules of the road. Question 44. What should you do when a car coming toward you at night has its very bright lights on? A. Look ahead toward the right edge of your lane. B. Close your eyes and hope for the best. C. Speed up and flash your lights. D. Look directly at the bright lights. The correct answer is A. Look ahead toward the right edge of your lane. When a vehicle's high beams blind you at night, it's best to focus on the right side of your lane to avoid the glare. This helps you see the road and stay safe while driving. Question 45. Where should you drive when you're getting ready to make a left turn from a two-way street? A. Near the center line. B. As close to the sidewalk as possible. C. Near the edge of the road. D. As far to the right as possible. The correct answer is A. Near the center line. When you're about to make a left turn from a two-way street, it's a good idea to drive near the center line to ensure you make a safe and smooth turn. This helps you avoid getting too close to the right side of the road and keeps you clear of any oncoming traffic. Question 46. What potential consequences may arise from consuming alcohol while on prescription medication? A. Reduced medication effectiveness and increased risk of side effects. B. Enhanced medication potency and faster symptom relief. C. Improved concentration and alertness. D. Decreased risk of interactions with prescription drugs. The correct answer is A reduced medication effectiveness, and increased risk of side effects. Combining alcohol with a prescription drug can have a harmful effect and make you unable to drive safely. It's important to follow your doctor's advice and avoid drinking alcohol when taking medication. Question 47. What's something important to do when you want to change lanes? A. Speed up and squeeze in. B. Wave to other drivers. C. Signal at least 500 feet before your lane change when driving on residential streets. D. Close your eyes and hope for the best. The correct answer is C. Signal at least 500 feet before your lane change when driving on residential streets. When you want to change lanes, it's a good idea to use your turn signal to let other drivers know your plans, especially on residential streets. Signaling helps everyone on the road understand your intentions and keeps traffic flowing safely. Question 48. What's the right way to change lanes when you're on the highway? A. Close your eyes and switch lanes. B. Blow your horn loudly. C. Stop in the middle of the highway. D. Signal, check mirrors, and check blind spots before changing lanes. The correct answer is D. Signal, check mirrors, and check blind spots before changing lanes. To change lanes safely on the interstate, it's important to signal your intentions, check your mirrors, and look over your shoulder to check your blind spots. This helps you avoid colliding with other vehicles and keeps the road safe. Question 49. What can improve the well-being of an individual who has consumed alcoholic beverages? A drinking more alcohol to alleviate the effects. B, having a cup of strong coffee. C, drinking water to stay hydrated. D, engaging in vigorous physical activity. The correct answer is C, drinking water to stay hydrated. 
The only thing that can help someone overcome the influence of alcoholic drinks is time. Time allows the body to process the alcohol and return to a sober state. It's important to wait and not try any other remedies. Question 50. What should you do when you want to switch from the right lane to the left lane on a big highway? A. Close your eyes and hope for the best. B. Honk your horn loudly. C. Look in your rearview mirror for traffic behind you before changing lanes. D. Ask a friend to do it for you. The correct answer is C. Look in your rearview mirror for traffic behind you before changing lanes. Before changing lanes, it's important to check your rearview mirror to make sure there is no traffic approaching from behind. This helps you switch lanes safely and avoid collisions. Question 51. What should a driver in a small car get ready for when they pass a big vehicle? A. Loud noises. B. Wind gusts produced by the large vehicle. C. Excess air pollution. D. Falling vehicle parts. The correct answer is B. Wind gusts produced by the large vehicle. When passing a big vehicle, small car drivers should be prepared for the wind gusts that the large vehicle can create. These gusts can affect your car, so it's important to drive carefully and keep a steady hand on the steering wheel. Question 52. What should you do if you want to turn left at a big intersection, but you can't see all the lanes because of other cars? A. Close your eyes and turn left. B. Speed up and race across. C. Honk your horn loudly. D. Wait until you can see all the lanes you need to cross before going ahead with your turn. The correct answer is D. Wait until you can see all the lanes you need to cross before going ahead with your turn. If you can't see all the lanes you need to cross when turning left at a multi-lane intersection, it's best to wait until you have a clear view of the traffic and it's safe to make your turn. This helps you avoid accidents and keeps everyone on the road safe. Question 53. What can make it harder to stop your car and cause more serious crashes? A. Driving safely. B. High speeds. C. Keeping two hands on the steering wheel. D. Driving the speed limit. The correct answer is B. High speeds. Driving at high speeds greatly increases the distance your car needs to stop, and it can make accidents more severe. It's important to follow speed limits and drive at safe speeds to stay in control of your vehicle. Question 54. What does this road sign tell you about the road ahead? A. Safe speed for residential area. B. Safe speed for commercial area. C. Safe speed for school area. D. The maximum safe speed for an expressway exit. The correct answer is D. The maximum safe speed for an expressway exit. This road sign shows the fastest speed you should go when exiting an expressway safely. It helps drivers slow down as they leave the highway, reducing the risk of accidents. Question 55. What should a driver do if they're feeling worried, nervous, angry, or crying before driving their car? A. Take the time to focus on driving before starting the engine. B. Start the engine and go. C. Drive as fast as possible to feel better. D. Sing loudly to cheer up. The correct answer is A. Take the time to focus on driving before starting the engine. If a driver is feeling worried, nervous, angry, or upset, it's a good idea to take a moment to calm down and focus on driving before starting the engine. Being in the right state of mind helps ensure safe and responsible driving. Question 56. What does this sign tell you about what's happening on the road? A. A rest stop up ahead. B. A picnic area or park nearby. C. Flagger ahead. D. A school crossing. The correct answer is C. Flagger ahead. This sign lets you know that there is a flagger up ahead who might be directing traffic. Be prepared to follow their instructions to keep everyone safe on the road. Question 57. When you're going up a hill and getting closer to a big truck from behind, what should you keep in mind? A. The truck may be carrying lots of ice cream. B. The truck may be able to fly. 
C. The truck may be traveling at a speed slower than the posted speed limit. D. The truck may be traveling at the same speed as the posted speed limit. The correct answer is C. The truck may be traveling at a speed slower than the posted speed limit. When you're driving up a hill and approaching a heavy truck from behind, it's important to be aware that the truck might be moving slower than the speed limit. This helps you drive safely and adjust your speed accordingly. Question 58. When is it okay to use your car's flashing hazard lights? A. When your vehicle is stopped or disabled on the highway or shoulder. B. When you're at a drive-in movie. C. When your car is parked at home. D. When you want to race with other drivers. The correct answer is A. When your vehicle is stopped or disabled on the highway or shoulder, you can use your car's flashing hazard lights when your vehicle is stopped or having problems on the highway or shoulder to let other drivers know that something is wrong. This helps keep you and other drivers safe. Question 59. What should you do if you're driving really slowly and causing a traffic jam behind you? A. Close your eyes and keep driving. B. Pull off the right side of the road and let traffic pass. C. Pull off the left side of the road. D. Speed up and race with other cars. The correct answer is B. Pull off the right side of the road and let traffic pass. If you're driving very slowly and causing a traffic backup, it's a good idea to pull off the right side of the road to allow faster traffic to pass. This keeps the traffic flow smooth and avoids congestion. Question 60. What do we mean when we talk about a no zone? A. A zone on a map where no vehicles are permitted. B. A designated quiet zone where no loud music is allowed. C. An area in which you are not allowed to park. D. Blind spots around large vehicles, such as trucks or buses. The correct answer is D. Blind spots around large vehicles, such as trucks or buses. A no zone refers to the area around a large vehicle where the driver may not be able to see other vehicles. It's important for smaller vehicles to avoid these areas to stay safe on the road. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you still need more practice, then check out these videos or click the link right here to get your cheat sheet, which will help you pass your DMV exam on the first try.